Happy birthday, lions. Welcome to your bonus birthday reading for Leo. Uh, for those who are not uh, accustomed to my birthday bonus readings, these are very, very, very general. Uh, I just basically hone in on any messages that want to come forward, and I usually do about two to three spreads, depending on how much time there is. There's usually been two spreads for the last few uh, bonus birthday readings. Keep in mind that, like I said, these are very general, so they can apply to uh, you, someone you're connecting with. They can apply to work. They can apply to family, friends love, your social life, your health, all, you know, the whole facet, the whole facet of your life, essentially, okay? Um, also, guys, keep in mind, because these are very general, that whenever you're guided to watch this is when you're meant to watch this. It can pertain to something that you just went through, something you're currently going through, or something you are about to go through, okay? So just take it as it resonates. Not everything will resonate, all right? All right, Leos, one last thing. If anybody has any questions, curiosities, or confusions on how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer, please check out the link below. Okay, let's get started for our first group of Leos. Let's see here. Any messages for Leos? Keep in mind, guys, because I do a couple spreads, sometimes they're different. Sometimes it's almost like, how do I say this? Like an umbrella energy. <laughs> Like, you'll see that sometimes a couple of the spreads actually relate to each other. Sometimes they don't, okay? Sometimes that message just has to come out. Any messages for Leos? Any messages for my Leos? Why am I seeing Disneyland? <laughs> Why am I seeing that? I'm seeing Thunder Mountain. Maybe some of you guys are reading on Thunder Mountain. I don't know. Have fun. Have fun. Any messages for Leos? see here oh leo look at that king of cups scorpionic energy could also be water or air oh i like it leo i like it someone's in love someone's happy very happy some of you have just entered into a committed relationship yeah oh yeah some of you have just entered into a committed relationship um others of you are dating and this is like basically the main squeeze so to speak but either way leos i feel like someone's more in love with you I feel like it's love towards you, with you. It feels good. It feels really good, Leos. Let's see here. Oh, ah, justice, Libra energy. Leos, I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. I like where this is heading. Look at that. King of Cups and justice. I'm getting a well-deserved love here. A well-deserved love. Some of you could have found your, your own self-love within yourself for the first time, which could also be very, very nice. And you could be enjoying that for the first time. That's for some of you. But I'm getting a very well-deserved love. Something you've been waiting for. Something you do truly deserve. Something you haven't quite experienced before. Oh, I like this. This is like the best birthday present. Any messages for Leos? Tell me more about this message for Leo. Ooh, ooh. Oh, Leo. We have Temperance in Reverse, Sagittarian energy. King of Wands in Reverse, Leo energy could also be air or fire with the Ace of Pentacles in Reverse. Yeah, Leos, it's almost like some of you have been really, <laughs> been really done. I, I heard a different phrase, but I'm not, I'm not saying that phrase. I'm not saying that. Um, just been done wrong, done wrong in love. I'll just put it that way. And you're like, I deserve some love. I deserve a healthy love. I deserve an amazing love, something that's balanced healthy health like healthy is coming in strongest but something that's very healthy and balanced that's what you know you deserve that's what you've been wanting and this is kind of how you've been feeling about love feeling like love is just so unstable love is just so unhealthy i've never like is it even possible to have anything healthy you know this is kind of how you're feeling about it leo ew but i'm telling you leos i'm telling you there's someone here oh focus there's someone here who really loves you and it feels healthy <laughs> okay it feels healthy. Let's see what else we have here. Any other messages for Leo regarding this spread? Anything else for this message for Leo? Oh. Let's see here. All right, so we got three more cards out here. Wow, Leo. Oh, lordy. Five of swords. Oh. Focus. Five of Swords, Aquarian Energy, Page of Cups in Reverse, and Lovers in Reverse. Ugh, Gemini Energy. Yeah, Leo, some of y'all have been through it. Some of you have been with people who are very deceitful. You feel like you've been deceived by love, honestly. Leo's, oh, focus. There we go. Some of you feel like you've been really deceived by love. Page of Cups in Reverse can be very deceitful, like emotional energy, like someone who's very, uh, who can be emotionally manipulative or be emotionally manipulative in their words, in their words. 
Um, but five, five of Swords is very defeated, very defeated. And Lovers in Reverse, I mean, this could be like one per particular connection in your mind that's like, that was a bag full of lies. <laughs> that was a bag full of lies and all it did was defeat me. Love is just unhealthy. It's insta it's unstable. Like, I'm never going to have that. I deserve that. But why am I not having it? I'm t Leo, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. We started out with this energy right here. Right here. Overall, look at that. The sun. Leo, overall energy is the sun. Illumination and happiness. Your energy. Leo, I'm telling you, some of you have a new love coming in, whether you realize it or not. And it's fucking beautiful, I got to say. And this energy, be careful not to be self-defeating in this energy of thinking about your past lovers or thinking about the one person in particular that some of you guys are thinking about uh who's very emotionally deceitful emotionally deceitful a very unhealthy individual and only brought instability to your life and to the connection uh the more you harbor on that the more you kind of invite that into your space or the more you kind of manifest that okay so just be mindful not to pull this energy into yourself any longer because leo there's someone right here <laughs> There's someone right here that you actually would really like, would really appreciate, someone you've been wanting. Someone you've been wanting. For those Leos who have been thinking of this energy, but more so in like, I'm never doing that again kind of energy. Like, I'm never going down that road again. I'm only going to have a healthy love. I'm only going to have a positive love. You have actually manifested this in. And my Leos who are getting stuck in the negative thought process of that, like, love is unhealthy. Love is toxic. Love is this. Love is that. Once you turn that over to positive manifestation, boom, they're going to appear. Okay, they're going to appear. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this energy. Let's look at justice. Let's look at justice. Uh, I'm going to use, yeah, let's use right away. Let's use right away. By the way, I just washed my hair, so it's a little, it's a little extra soft. <laughs> and I have fine hair, so because of that, it, like, can't hold a shape if it's soft. Anyway, little girl talk. I don't know. Tell me about justice for my Leos. Yeah, I'm like, my guides are like, this is well-deserved. This, is... Oh, look at that. Look at that, Leo's. Four of Wands and Page of Wands. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You guys, there, there's a love like right there. It's like right there. For those who are in that negative thought process, get out of that right now because they are right there at your door. Like, when's Leo ready? When's Leo going to be ready? When's Leo going to be ready? Oh, Leo's, I'm liking this. Tell me about justice. Tell me about justice. For my lions. Tell me about justice 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 for my lions. Let's see here. Oh, judgment. Fire energy, also scorpionic energy for me as a reader. Judgment. It's basic it's basically a gift, Leo. That's honestly how this is feeling to me. It's like this is what you've been deserving, and karma's coming back around for you. Make sure you check your Jupiter placements, by the way, because Jupiter did just go direct a little while ago. We're still in the climax of the energy, so to speak. But um, yeah, Leo's. This is something well deserved. Judgment has a karmic attachment, so does justice. And they're both about balance and what's right. Judgment also is also about something that is, um, <clears throat> excuse me, divinely guided, divinely gifted. Also something that's emerging, something that's emerging. Leos, <laughs> there's divine, awesome gift of love, balanced love, well-deserved love, something that you truly deserve for the bullshit you've been through, okay? Coming in here. You guys have to be open to it, though. You have to be open to this to receive it. Tell me about justice for my Leos. Tell me about justice for my Leos. Um, tell me about justice for my Leos. Yeah, basically just more what I've been saying. Tell me about justice for my Leos. Yeah, see, look at this. Seven of Swords in reverse. Aquarian energy. For the bullshit you've been through, Leo. <laughs> a love you deserve for the bullshit in love you've experienced okay it's a gift it's a gift for your efforts okay it's a gift for your pain essentially overall energy for justice we do have three of uh pentacles in reverse here capricorn energy yeah leos you gotta get in the right state of mind to get here because this tells me you're not cooperating right now with spirit you're not cooperating with what spirit's trying to give you what spirit's trying to open the door for to you um 
Mm. Yeah, that's for those in the then that negative self talk. E God, Leo's I hate to do this to you, but um, some of you that God, why, 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 why? Some of you, this is someone from the past. I know. Oh. <laughs> like I could just hear you guys go. Oh. <laughs> if it's someone from the past, you don't have to accept it. These are opportunities. But for most of you, I feel like this that spirit is trying to give you someone that you do deserve, someone that's worth your time, that's worth all the bullshit you've been through. I do feel for most of you, it is someone new. For most of you, I do feel like it is someone new. But the three of pentacles in reverse and the seven of swords in reverse. Oh. I just can't shake that feeling. I can't shake that feeling that like this is someone who did do you wrong. Someone who really um, didn't want to be on the same page with you or who wasn't on the same page with you because they weren't on the same page with themselves. They didn't know themselves. Ugh. Sorry. I know. I know. I know, Leos. I know. <laughs> but like I said, most of you, this does feel like a new love because of all the bullshit you've been through. You deserve it. It's here. You have to be open to it. Now, for those where this is someone from your past, do what you will with that because like I said it is an opportunity and you are the masters of your own life so you decide what you want to do with it if you want nothing to do with them close the door on it spirit will bring you someone else okay but like I said this is how you've been feeling about love like it's just very imbalanced it's very unstable like this is like these this is just the experiences you've been used to when it comes to romance yeah I'm very defeating I feel like for some of you this is a standout connection excuse me, that was very, very defeating to you and put you in this state of mind of like, man, that's just all love is. Like, does healthy love even exist? I've never seen it. You know, it's like some of you are even saying, like, I've never seen it. How is it possible? I've never seen it. But Leo, overall, you got the sun. Remember that. Overall, you have the sun. That's freedom. That's illumination, okay? It's all about your state of mind, Leo. It's all about your state of mind at this point. Um, I know some of you don't want to hear that. <laughs> I know some of you don't want to hear that. And honestly, I don't even want to go into the past here. I don't. I really don't. Because I feel like some of your states of mind are very... What's the word? What's the word I'm looking for? They're on the brink right now from like... from Some, some of you are already in that very negative self-talk about it. Others, you're kind of on the verge. And I don't want to bring up anything in your past. It's just going to keep reminding you of that. Because I really want you guys to be in a positive headspace here. Yeah, I really want you guys to be in a positive headspace here about this. To let this love in especially for those where this is a new love and for those where this is the past again decide how you feel about that that's your decision what you want to do with this person okay sometimes the past just needs to be the past this could also be um spirit trying to bring in closure for you if this is someone from the past you know give you the justice you deserve from the bullshit they put you through right um but again decide how you feel about that i do actually want to get a little advice for you guys here um, I use the spirit animal deck a lot. Why am I not feeling that one today? I'm actually feeling romance angels. And I haven't felt that one for a long time. I actually was retiring it from YouTube. And I'm like, I don't know. I'm feeling compelled to use it again. So let, let's go ahead and pull it out. Let's go ahead and pull it out and then we'll do a second spread. Might be three spreads today, guys. Any advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Yeah, stay in that sunny state of mind, Leo. <laughs> Stay in that sunny state of mind so you attract that love that you really deserve and that you really want for yourself, okay? And for most of you, that is a new person, all right? Any advice or messages from my videos regarding this spread? Any messages or advice? For my Leos regarding this spread. You know, some of you, I'm like, okay, this is interesting. I'm actually picking up on a group of Leos where you've been in a committed relationship, a very happy, committed relationship, and someone from the past is trying to knock on your door. Don't, yeah, if, yeah, it, Leos, if you're in a happy, committed relationship, you're probably not watching this, first of all, <laughs> which is probably why I don't feel very many of you. Uh, but if you are, there is someone from the past knocking on your door, Leo. Don't let them fuck with you're happy with this person, okay? Uh, take the closure you need. Take the justice you need from any apologies they want to give you. But yeah, if you're in a happy, committed relationship, don't, don't open that door too wide. Okay, don't open it too wide. Any messages or advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Any messages or advice? 
Ooh, ooh, unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Yeah, this is definitely for the per I feel like this is more for the person from the past here where there's been a history. Oh, okay, oh, okay. No, it's for, every it's for everyone who resonates with this. Thank you, Spirit's correcting me. It's for everyone who resonates with this. Yeah, this is the history of love that you've experienced, Leo. Very selfish, take, 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 taking from you, take as much as they can from you. Someone who is emotionally deceitful, very much left you defeated. It was very imbalanced, very unstable. Yeah, it just, it was never equal. It was never equal, which is why you're so focused on that healthy love, that healthy, harmonious, balanced love, because this is the kind of love you're used to, okay? Not, not, not good, not good. You don't need that. No one needs that. You're done with that. You learn those lessons, Leo. Any messages or advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Any messages or advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Oh, that's it. And on the bottom, we do have pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Yeah, I feel like this is for those where this is a past person coming back to you. Be careful. Be cautious. Decide how you feel about it. Decide how you feel about it. Yeah, I, yeah, I feel like for those where this is a past person knocking on your door, you're just like, yeah, I don't know. Mm. <laughs> you're just like, uh... I've been down this road before. <laughs> I know the signs. I know the red flags. I know the alarms. And my alarms are going off. That's what some of you are saying. Yeah, just listen to your intuition here, Leo, for those where you're experiencing a past person coming back. For those where there's a new person, it, lo it looks gravy. It looks good. It looks delicious. Congratulations. But for those where it's like someone from the past knocking on your door, yeah, be very cautious here, Leo. Be very cautious because you've been through the ringer. You know what this feels like. You've done the song and dance many a time. You know the script. <laughs> you know the next scene. You know the next act. Just be mindful, okay? All right, Leos, let's go into the next spread. Let's see, 1643. I'll remember that. I'll remember that. Will I? No, I will. I'll remember that. Sorry, I talked to myself for a little bit. Okay. All right, let's see if we can get a different group of Leos out here. I'm actually going to switch the deck. I'm going to go to Gilded Tarot for this one for my Lions. All right. Different messages for my lions or different group of Leos, please. Messages for a different group of Leos. Any messages for a different group of Leos? 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 I'm... They're showing me cats. Mostly black cats. That's interesting. They're showing me mostly black cats, Leo. Um, any messages for a different group of Leos, please? Hmm. Any messages for a different group of Leos, please? Let's see. Ooh. Nine of Wands, Sagittarian energy, and Two of Swords, Moon and Libra energy. Someone's trying to make a decision here. Someone's trying to make a choice, but they're having a really hard time doing it. That Nine of Wands, it feels like struggle. It feels like a major struggle. Usually Nine of Wands is like being guarded. It's usually being guarded because you've been through the ringer quite a bit. Um, that could be the reason why you're struggling to make a choice or someone's struggling to make a choice. But I feel like it's really... <sighs> Someone almost doesn't feel strong enough to make a decision here. Yeah, someone doesn't feel strong enough to make a decision. Getting a little bit of fear behind that. Oh, wow. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Capricorn energy could also be earth or water. This is someone who's being loyal to themselves. Loyal to themselves, caring about themselves, nurturing themselves. They have their back turned to a lot of people right now. Yeah, Leos, I almost feel like, I feel like this is your energy. It could be vice versa, so keep that in mind. But just for the sake of the reading, I'm going to say that this is you. You've been giving a lot more to yourself than others recently. And it is Leo season. It's your birthday season. And a lot of people have been in that groove of giving to themselves. And now we're switching to Virgo energy, where we are wanting to give more to others, especially that full moon in aqua and Uranus going retrograde. So people are wanting to give more to others because they've been giving a lot to themselves because they've had to give themselves. And Leo, that you're in that boat too. You've been having to give to yourself because you've needed it. You needed it. But there's someone who's been who's been watching you, I feel like, or someone on the outskirts who's really struggling to make a decision when it comes to you, given your back has been turned to them, okay? I feel like this person's lacking a lot of courage, to be honest with you. Any other messages? They're intimidated. Thank you. They're intimidated, Leo. Oh, my. <laughs> 
oh my, lovers, <laughs> lovers, Gemini energy, a very, very deep ass connection here. Oh, Leo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So someone's been really struggling to make a decision when it comes to you and they consider you to be a very, very uh, deep connection that they have. Like they share a very deep connection with you, but you're not giving to them. You're not giving to them and you're not giving this, this, this to this connection. You're giving to yourself. And that's why they're intimidated to make this choice, whatever this choice is. We'll get into it because I'm really curious. Leos, I feel like whoever's resonating with this, you're doing the right thing. I don't think it's wrong. I think you're doing the right thing. Any messages from my Leos regarding this spread? Any more to this message? Oh, wow. Knight of Wands in reverse. Sagittarian energy could also be Aries or Leo. A lot of in and out energy. A lot. <sighs> sprinting? Sprinting? Do I have runners watching me? I'm like, oh, something I got sprinting. Um, I, yeah, I, just as much as you've turned your back on this person, I feel like they kind of did that first, to be honest, Leo. I kind of feel like they did that to you first. I feel a little bit of like a player energy with that. I don't really like it. But almost more childish than a, than a player. Like a little mischievous, a little devil's advocate almost like an experiment what the hell oh leos don't tell me you're with someone like that wait a minute what's this experiment i'm picking up on leos someone might have i don't like this i don't like this energy i'm just saying right now we'll see where this goes but i'm not liking it leos you might have been dealing with someone who saw this opportunity with you and probably didn't see it for what it was probably didn't see that lover's energy right away because i'm getting a little bit like i'll try this out I'll test this out like a little bit like an experiment and then they 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 bolted they bolted they were they were a bit of a player with you for some like for some of you they were a player others they like they kind of toyed with you a little bit I don't like that they toyed with you a little like cat and mouse like if I do a how will Leo react well if I don't answer that call how will Leo react if I answer every third text message how will Leo react you know it's like it's that kind of energy I don't like that I don't like that at all so you turned your back <laughs> You turned your back, you turned your back, and now they don't know what to do. Now they're in a position of wanting to make a choice, and they're like, well, well, they didn't expect you to do what you did. Let's see. Any other messages for Leo? Oh, wow. Really? Any other messages for Leo? Yeah, now we have Knight of Swords. Gemini energy could also be air or fire. Yeah, look at this energy. Look at this. Leo, they want to come and talk to you. But I feel like this is also part of the games they used to play. You know, it's like maybe they disappear on you for a little bit and they come back and be like, hey, Leo, what's going on? And then you'd question it. You'd question it. What? 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 <laughs> Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Like they just would try to get past it. Right. That's for some of you. Others, they just want to come in and talk about this. They want to com come and talk. They want to talk. And that's part of this decision. But they're really lacking the, the, the confidence to do it. They're really lacking the confidence to do it because they're intimidated by the actions you've taken in loving yourself and focusing on you, regardless of knowing about this connection. They didn't recognize what this connection was until after they made this mistake of running an experiment on you for some of you. Others, it was, play, it was being a player or a playette. Um, others, they just full-on dipped they full-on ghosted you yeah others they full-on ghosted you so pick out of that little list i just gave however that resonates okay overall energy we do have four swords which is libra energy i'm actually really happy to see this because this is about healing this is about recovery rehabilitation and leo's you've been doing that you've been taking it easy some of you've been going on vacation like maybe a little like camping trips or spa days or what have you maybe even just you know taking some time at home and watching some netflix just <laughs> Just loving on yourself, loving on yourself. There's been quite a break between you two. Yeah, it feels like a, a long period of a break, a long period of a break, because you're busy loving on yourself. And when you decided to do that, they weren't really sure how to handle you anymore. Even though they were running experiments for some, others they were playing around, and others they full on just ghosted, full on ghosted. And now they want to come in. Now they want to come in, but they don't have the balls or, you know, female version of that to, <laughs> to figure out how to do that okay so let's go ahead and look at this two of swords let's use steampunk yeah let's do steampunk for this one so we have two of swords for my leos play about two of swords for my leos regarding this spread play about two of swords for leos 
Talking about Two of Swords for Leah's regarding this spread. Getting a lot of Queen of Wands energy. Excuse me. Getting a lot of Queen of Wands energy. It could be both an Aries or, you know, it is also fire and water. So it could represent you. Um, oh, okay. That's why they're showing it to me. Yeah, Leo's, when you started loving on yourself, when you started loving on yourself, um, you became a very much a Queen of Wands energy in this in the eyes of this person. Very attractive. Very, very attractive. But again, they're also intimidated because it's like, oh shit, Leo's a lot. <laughs> shit, I kind of really want Leo a hell of a lot more. Wow, Leo's really doing their thing. Wow, Leo's really taking the lead. It's like you became very, very sexy. Not that you weren't sexy already, Leo's. You're very sexy, Lions. Um, but you became sexier. You became sexier. Male or female? Talking about two of swords. Talking about two of swords for my lions. Talking about two of swords. Ooh, what did I say? Ace of cups. They want to come in, Leo. <laughs> they want to come in. They want to offer an ace of cups. Decide how you feel about that. I did not like the energy I was picking up on. It's like literally some of them are running an experiment. If I call, what will they, what will, how will they react? If I say this in a, in a DM, what, what will they say? If I answer that text message after three days, what will happen? You know, very much like an experiment. Others, they were playing around. Um, and others, they just full on ghosted you. Okay. So d again, decide how you feel about that. I don't like any of those. <laughs> so personally as a reader and a female, hold on. Do I have a peeker? Hold on. I thought I saw. Oh, oh, we do. Okay. Oh yeah. Queen of swords. Libra energy could also be air or water. They want to offer this to you, but look, they're also seeing you as a queen of swords. Like, oh, God damn it. If I, if I come in and approach after what I did, after how I treated Leo, they're just going to cut my head off. <laughs> they might just bite my head off like a lion. Um, and I don't think they're wrong, Leo. I don't think they're wrong. Tell me about the two of swords. Tell me about the two of swords for Leo's. Tell me about the two of swords. The more you give love to yourself, it's like the less and less confident this person is. Tell me about two of swords for Leo. Oh, see, knight of swords again. Double confirmation there. Gemini energy could also be air or fire. Yeah, they want to come in and talk. They want to come in and talk, but they, they know what they're walking into. Tell me about two of, whoa. Card vomit. I guess I'm taking all those. All right. Queen of Cups, Cancerian energy could also be water, which is also Pisces and Scorpio. Seven of Cups in reverse, Scorpionic energy. And then we have this batch fly over here. Ten of Cups in reverse, uh, Piscean energy. Sun in reverse, Leo energy. Hold on a second. I, I just took off my bandage for my tattoo, my second bandage, so I'm just being really careful. Uh, Four of Wands, Aries energy. Eight of Swords, Gemini energy. And then Three of Cups, Cancerian energy. Wow. They want to come in, Leo. They want to talk to you. That Queen of Cups with the Seven of Cups in reverse, I almost want to, I feel like they're almost protesting that they are very single, that they have no options and they are ready for love. They know you're ready for love. They know you're ready for love, but I don't think you want what they're selling, to be quite frank with you. Wow. God, how can I hold all these up? Hold on. So we got five cards here. Give me a second. All right. There we go. You guys can see that, yeah? Yeah, you guys can see that. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like maybe I can hold it all in one hand. Ten of Cups in reverse, Sun in reverse. This is an energy that's been kind of going on here for this person. They've been very unhappy, Leo. Very, very unhappy in whatever situation they're finding themselves in. Leo's, for those that you were dealing with, a actually, for all of you that resonate with this, within, okay, for all of you that resonate with this spread, there are some of you where this person ran out on you or playing experiments with you or were playing with you because they actually had a relationship already and they felt very trapped by that because they've been in a third party situation. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Some, they're also just, just very much in fear about wanting reconciliation with you and wanting a foundation with you, wanting a relationship with you because they've been so unhappy without you and unhappy with what they've done. Yeah. Either way, Leo, like I said, I don't think you're buying what they're selling. Let's see what else we get out here for the Two of Swords, and then we'll let's see where we're at. Oh, yeah, we can do a third, a third spread. We can do a third spread. Tell me about Two of Swords for my Leos. Oh, my. Tell me about Two of Swords for my Leos. There's a lot coming out here on the Two of Swords. Tell me about the Two of Swords for my Leos. 
Okay. We've got, wow. Yeah. Six of Cups in reverse, Scorpionic energy. It could also be past life karmic soulmate energy with the Eight of Wands in reverse, Sagittarian energy. There's been a major, major hold up here. They've been missing you a lot, Leo. They've been kicking themselves a lot, but they haven't known how to talk about it. They haven't known how to move forward because, like I said, they're lacking confidence. The more you start loving on yourself, the less confidence this person has. <clears throat> and we've also got Jesus. Seven of Wands, Leo energy with judgment in reverse. Fire energy, also scorpionic energy with the Ace of Swords. They've been resisting facing facing this bullshit. Okay, judgment in reverse. I'm, I'm almost feeling like a like a delayed justice kind of energy with this. Almost like spirits and poking at them to do what's right, which is coming coming towards you for the truth, right? To talk about the truth, talk about what happened. But Seven of Wands have been very resistant towards that. I also feel like they've been very defensive in general. Yeah, this person has a history of behaving this way, Leo. And I feel like anytime anyone's called them out on it, they get very defensive. And let's say like, you know, they did that whole running in and out on you. And anytime you called them out, they just were like, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Oh, you're so silly. Oh, Leo, you're so crazy. Oh, this, that, or the other. Defensive, distracting. We're not talking about that, right? Almost like we're not going to talk about me and all of the bullshit that I'm up to kind of energy. But they know, they know the bullshit of their own behavior, Leos. They know that. And they also know that they have to come clean with you. They have to come clean with you. It's just right. It's just the right thing to do. And even though they do want to come forward with love, with an ace of cups you're loving on yourself you're choosing to love on yourself and i think most of you are not going to accept this ace of cups of love from this person yeah i think most of you won't and then we have the chariot cancerian energy they do want to move forward with you but either way leos like i said i i can feel it from you um this person did a lot of bullshit. They were up to a lot of bullshit. And it's like, I'll take the apology, but why would you jump into, into something like that again? Right? And the fact is, they really have found you even more attractive now that you are giving them absolutely no attention. Right? It's like, there's something very unhealthy about this person. And I don't see any cards where they've changed. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't see any transformative cards. I don't see any healing cards. Like, no, it's really more just like, they've been watching you. And it's like, they like that chase. They like the game. Thank you. They like the game. They like the chase. And now they have an opportunity to chase. But that's not you. You're not buying that. You're not buying that. It's like, yeah, you might want to move forward with me. But what about everything else that happened, right? Overall energy for the two of swords. We do have four of cups in reverse. Can't stare in energy. I'm getting major rejection here. Major rejection around this decision. They're afraid you're going to reject them. And to be honest, Leo, I feel like you will. I'm just being straight up. You guys do what you want. Like I said, masters of your own life. Do what you feel is right. But that's how this feels right now. And I don't think their instincts are off about that. They know that, you know, you're going to be a little guarded when they come in. Rightfully so. Uh, you're not really going to want to hear them out. Rightfully so. And you will most likely reject them. Rightfully so. <laughs> you know what I mean? Their, their expectations are not unrealistic. But that's also why they're having a lot of trouble deciding how to come in and when to come in. And if they should at all. But they know they should. They know they should. Oof, Leos. Wow. Well, keep loving on yourself like you're doing. Keep loving on yourself like you're doing. We'll pull some Romance Angels for this one, too. I guess we're bringing Romance Angels back for this reading. All right. Any messages for my Leos regarding this spread? Any messages or advice for my Leos? I can feel you guys asking for the Spirit Animal deck. <laughs> Like, no, I want the spirit animal deck. All right, maybe, maybe, maybe. I might pull that one out. I might. Uh, I wasn't really... Oh. You guys okay? Sorry. Hold on. Ah! Okay. Hold it. Are we back? Are we good? Okay, there we go. We're back. We're back and we're good. I might pull it out. I might pull it out. Any advice or messages? For my lions regarding this spread. Let's see here. Ooh, what did I say? Attraction. They are so much more attracted to you now that you're not paying attention to them at all whatsoever. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully, which is exactly what you're doing, Leo. You're loving on yourself, you're loving life, and you're not paying any mind to this person, and they know that, and it makes them even more attracted to you. All right, let's see what else we got. Any other messages or advice for my lions? 
Any other messages or advice to my lions regarding this spread? Oh, okay. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> Jesus. Unrequited love. Stay optimistic about your love life and it's safe for you to love. I feel like this is your transition, lions, from this person to like where you are now, where it was unrequited. They were treating you shitty. They were running around on you, playing experiments for some. Others, they just full on ghosted you. They didn't come up. They didn't give you what you deserve. They weren't reciprocating in the way that you were giving, in the way the, uh, in the love that you were giving them. And then staying optimistic about your love life and it's safe for you to love. It's like you were, you've you been creating a safe space for love to come in. Love that is requited. Love that is not unrequited, okay? You've been creating that safe space for yourself by enjoying life, by giving love to yourself. Because that's what you deserve. That's, that's, that's just what you deserve. That's just what you deserve, flat out. So you've been creating that space for yourself for that to come in. All right, on the bottom we have, ooh, very soon. I like that. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. This is manifestation energy, Leos. So this can even apply to the first reading a little bit of trying to manifest that love that you want to come in, that healthy love, that balanced love, the love that's going to reciprocate, right? The love that's actually going to reciprocate the love that you give them. Staying optimistic about your love life is very much in that same boat of manifestation by creating that space in your mind, the energy in your mind, the energy in your energy field of balanced, healthy love of the self. So that love of that same caliber, that same vibration can come in. As you focus on that manifestation, that kind of love will come in. All right, Leos? Okay. Where are we at? We're at 36 minutes. Okay. All right. For those who are asking, for those who are asking, we'll just, we'll see what comes out. Any more advice from my lions from the spirit animal deck? Any more advice for my lions from the spirit animal deck for the spread? Then we'll do a third spread. Then we'll do a third spread. Any more advice for my lions? Hey. Any more advice for my lions regarding this spread? Any more advice for my lions? Any more advice for my lions regarding this spread? I don't know, guys. We don't have anything coming out just yet. Let's see. Any more advice for my lions? Any more advice for my lions? Oh, there we go. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Any more advice for my... Ooh. Oh, I knew that was going to come out. I should have called it. I should have called it. I knew that was going to come out. I was like, I'm pretty sure it's going to be bare. <laughs> okay, now we got quite a bit. Now we got quite a bit coming out here. Okay. All right, Lions. So you guys have Sandpiper Spirit. Be playful. 51 breaking down to a six. Have fun. Enjoy life. Enjoy yourself. Love on yourself. Like I said, we know we've already been going over that. Now we have Brown Beer Spirit. Take time out with the energy of nine. You had four swords as your overall energy, which was very much an energy of taking a time out. Resting, recovering, rehabbing. Yeah, taking time out for you to go and have fun, go on a little vacay, treat yourself a little bit at home. Uh, you know, I know a lot of my lions like to do that sometimes. Or even just treating yourself to like a spa day, pedicure, what have you. Treating yourself, being kind to yourself. That is the advice here. And then we have, oh, very nice. Dove spirit, be peace, 21 breaking down to a three, and then spider spirit, make your dreams real, 57 breaking down to an 11 here. Manifestation. We've been covering that a lot for you, lions, on this spread. And then with dove peace, be, dove, be, dove peace, Jesus. Dove spirit, be peace. This is having that loving energy for yourself to manifest it in. That's the advice here. Keep having that loving energy for yourself and that right partner, that balanced partner, that partner who will give you the love you deserve, the love that you give back to someone else, very reciprocated, very harmonious, will come in. But right now, this time is for you. This time is for you, okay? And overall, we have frog spirit, clear out the clutter. 28, cyclical energy, basically getting rid of any negative energy that's been keeping you from this manifestation, keeping you from loving on yourself, getting rid of that. Getting rid of that, purging that out, okay? All right, lions, last spread at 39.29. 1643 and 3929. 1643, 3929. Okay, I can remember that. All right, what deck do we actually I haven't used legacy in quite a while? Yet let's use the legacy deck here. 
All right. Any messages for a different group of lions? Any messages for a different group of Leos, please? Messages for a different group for my Leos? Messages for a different group of my Leos? Messages for a different group of my Leos, please? Alright, that feels good. Messages for a different group of my Leos? Been very love heavy so far, Lions. I've been like, are we getting anything about work? It'd be nice to get something about work for you guys. Let's see. Anything that wants to come through for my Lions? Anything my Lions need to know? But for a different group, please. For a different group. Let's see what we got. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> Speaking of work, Emperor in reverse, Aries energy, Taurus energy, divine masculine energy. This could definitely be your boss, okay? Could definitely be your boss, supervisor, patriarch of the family, could even be your dad, your grandfather, could even be a CEO, boss like figure that you know you could be romantically involved with. It's basically head honcho. Feels very head honcho, but in a very shadowy sense. I don't like the energy they're in. It's a very shadowy head honcho. Very like overbearing, over controlling, overcompensating. Listen, it's like like very commanding in how they, they speak, but in a negative way. Like there's commanding and captivating, but then there's listen to me. You know, it's very um it's very aggressive. I don't like it. It's very abrasive. Let's see. What else for this message for my lions? Anything else for this message for my Leos? Oh, wow. Ten of Wands, Sagittarian energy. This emperor is burdened. This emperor is very, very, very burdened. They're very bogged down. Their energy is really low. Oh, their energy is really low. They could be exhausted, actually. I'm getting... They're also drinking a lot. That was really awful. Um... <laughs> As I'm going through my, my ascension, I like, oh, that was really disgusting. Um, as, I, as I'm going through my second ascension, my abilities are getting tweaked quite a bit in very weird ways. I, I just tasted like, it was like, I think it had to be vodka. Honestly, I think that had to be vodka and I hate vodka. Sorry, sorry for you vodka lovers out there. It just does not agree with me. That made me really nauseous. I'm um, sorry. Um, yeah, someone's drinking a lot. Someone's drinking a lot. Yuck. Anyway, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Four swords. They could be on a boat somewhere drinking. They honestly could. They honestly could. Libra energy. They're very stressed out. They're very bogged down. Very low energy. Some are like, some are drinking to the point where they don't realize that's why they're tired because they're drinking so much. Anyway, but four of swords is indicating some kind of rest of some kind. Okay. They are trying to get away is what I'm getting, Leos. They're trying to get away. Oh, some are trying to get away through booze and through overindulgence, but others are actually trying to just get away on vacation to get away from their stress, the source of their stress. This could be someone you're romantically involved with, could even be your husband, could be someone's spouse, or it could be a wife. It's just masculine energy. It's masculine energy. Ugh. Sorry, I just, I just did not like that. Any other messages for my lions regarding this spread? Anything else for my lions for this spread? All right, we got another card out here. Let's see. Wow. Hierophant. Taurian energy. I like that this is here. I like that this is here. For some, they could literally be in rehab right now for their drinking. Okay. <laughs> I only say that because it came in so strong. I can't believe how strong that came in. Um, but Hierophant is usually a counselor and Four of Swords is usually, is usually recovery, right? So this could definitely be like someone actually went to rehab is in rehab, seeking therapy, seeking out counsel to recover and heal from some stuff that's really been bogging them down, dragging them down. I just heard dragging them down as well. And something that's been really, really stressful, they could be seeking advice on this as well. They could be going to a doctor, like a full on medical doctor. And what's interesting is I flipped the deck over to see the bottom and then the top card fell out, which is the Ace of Swords. So I'm going to leave that out here because it feels like it belongs. And I'm just going to leave it as a side energy. Overall, though, we have the Ace of Cups. Leo's. The, sorry, that vodka taste is still in my mouth. That was really disgusting. Uh, <clears throat> Ace, of, Ace of Cups. Leo's, okay. Ace of Cups is the overall energy. This person, this emperor, by the way, Queen of Wands underneath that. 
I definitely feel like this is you coming across in your partner's reading. Even though it's Aries energy, it is fire and water. Someone who's just very incredibly attractive, Leo. Someone really loves you. Someone's very attracted to you. Keep in mind, this is going to make two videos, so it might have a second missing as it transits over. Don't know why it does that. It's a feature I can't turn off. But Leo's anyway, someone's very attracted to you. Someone's in love with you. Definitely in love with you. Can't stop thinking about you. But they're very... They're very stressed out. They could just be working a lot. Others, it's addictions getting the best of them. Others, it's their work getting the best of them. Others, it's just the thoughts of you that are getting the best of them. But they're getting dragged down and they can't really take it anymore, which is why they're going into a Four Swords Hierophant energy. So like I said, some are actually going to rehab. Some are actually seeking recovery. Some are seeking counsel. Some are actually going to a doctor here. I'm trying to get, um, yeah, some are actually going to a doctor here. Um, there we go. Sorry, the focus was bothering me. Some could also be seeking divine guidance. Herm uh, hermit. Four of Swords is like the mini hermit. It's the minor arcana to the major arcana hermit card, okay? Which is seeking enlightenment. In this period of rest, I feel like they are isolating themselves and they could be actually getting in touch with their guides more, getting a little bit of an expansion themselves because then we have Ace of Swords right after that. That is truth. This is spiritual expansion. These are downloads. These are, this is about intuition and it's all circulating around thoughts and love for you, okay? So that being said, vodka taste is finally gone <laughs> let's go into the tennis ten of almost a ten of swords ten of wands let's go into the ten of wands see what's been dragging this emperor down okay um am i feeling alice yeah i'm feeling alice let's do alice here play with the ten of wands for my leos play with the ten of wands the ten of wands for my leos regarding this spread what's dragging this emperor down what's slowing this emperor down dragging them down stressing them out tell me about this ten of wands tell me about this ten of wands tell me about ten of wands <clears throat> tell me about the ten of wands for my leos King of Swords, interesting. Aquarian energy could also be Gemini or Libra. Ooh, for some, it's just the stone cold truth. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, so for those where you, where this emperor is someone who does have a drinking problem or uh, a substance problem, it's like sobering up has been really hard for them. Sobering up has basically made them see things clearly. And that's been really difficult for them to deal with. Okay, that's for some. Others, this is another person. There's another person entering the reading here where it's almost like it could be a family member or a friend. It feels like a male on male relationship. It doesn't have to be, but it's that energy, like masculine energy with masculine energy. Yeah, whoever this is, Leo, to this emperor, for those where this is another person. Oh, God, honestly, this could be someone's dad. This This could be the father of the emperor here or vice versa. It's like, that's what I'm getting. It's almost like Remember I was thinking of this emperor's very abrasive and it's like overly overbearing, overly controlling. It's like having to be that ultimate presence. It's like, I feel like that's because of issues with this King of Swords because this King of Swords is very challenging for them and likes to challenge them, likes to criticize them. So to deal with that, they have to be extra. They have to be extra in their dominance. Ooh. Tell me more about this Ten of, uh, ten, I keep wanting to say Ten of Swords. Tell me more about this Ten of Wands. But it's another person. It's another person in this emperor's energy field. It's definitely not you. It's definitely not you. And like I said, for others, it's like getting the clarity, the clarity, the truth that they have to face is really burdening them. Okay, so decide how that applies to you guys in both of those scenarios. Let's see here. Now we've got, wow, eight of swords in reverse, Gemini energy. The High Priestess, Piscean energy, also Gemini for me as a reader. And then we have Six of Wands in reverse, Jupiter, Leo energy. This is interesting. This is almost like, again, truth because secrets are being released. High Priestess, I'm just getting strong ass secrets with this. Secrets, things have been hidden, things have been kept away. Six of Wands in reverse though, it's like, mm. yeah, I'm almost been just kept away, kept away with that Six of Wands because Six of Wands is, is an attention energy. It's also victory. 
It's also victory. But Six of Wands in reverse is also um, that lack of attention. Lack of attention to detail. Yeah, there have been secrets here or things that this emperor hasn't been facing are not allowed to talk about and they're being released from that. They're releasing themselves from that. And some, it's giving them a lot of clarity and that clarity is burdening to them. It's almost like ignorance is bliss, right? They've been able to ignore this hidden shit, these secrets, the things that they haven't shared with other people. They've been ignoring it, ignoring it, ignoring it, but they haven't been dealing with it well. So now that they're getting this clear clarity of it, clear of mind, the the seeing the truth of it, that's almost burdening to them because it's like now they can't be ignorant anymore. Yeah, now they can't be ignorant anymore. Some are honestly learning about secrets about their dad. Strong, like strong. Some are learning some real, <laughs> ugh, some real deeply buried shit about their dad or a family member or another masculine energy in their life. <clears throat> It could even be a father learning it about their son or a father learning that about their child, but both would be older. Both would be older. They wouldn't be small children. It would be like 30s, I'm getting, 30s and older for both parties, without a doubt. Okay, let's keep this going. <clears throat> Someone's also realizing the, re the reason they've always felt like a failure, the reason they've always been so overbearing is because they always felt like they were going to fail. They always felt like they were never good enough because of whatever issues they had with their parents as a child. Someone could be realizing this about their father, that their father or parents or grandfather, um, could even be an uncle, older masculine energy, um, is like that because they always feel like a failure. Someone could be realizing that. Tell me about the Ten of Wands. Tell me about the Ten of Wands. Tell me more about the Ten of Wands. Tell me about the Ten of Wands. Okay, overall energy, we have three of pentacles, Capricorn energy. Yeah, this is, God, this connects back to work. Underneath that, we have the we have the devil here, Capricorn energy, three of pentacles and the devil. This is some, oh, sorry guys. This is someone addicted to work, definitely. This could all be around a family business. Like I said, it could also be just masculine on masculine relationship in the workplace. Either way, this is definitely like someone who throws himself into work because if they're not working, they kind of can't ignore the truth about things, but they don't really want to know the truth. They can't deal with the truth. It's like an escape. Their work is an escape. Yeah, their work is an escape. You under that? Look, Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. Yeah, their work is an escape. Okay, let's move it on. Move on to the healing part. Love the healing portion. Uh, let's look at the Four of Swords. Let's look at the Four of Swords. I'm going to use Gilded for this one. Hi. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about Four of Swords, and then we'll go to the Ace of Swords, and we'll wrap this up. Tell me about Four of Swords for my Leos regarding this spread. Tell me about Four of Swords for my Leos regarding this spread. Tell me about Four of Swords for my Leos regarding this spread. I'm also getting a little bit of an obsession here. Um, and I feel like it's on for you, Leo. Like, I almost feel a little bit of a, an obsession towards you from this energy. It's like, again, this person has thrown themselves into work for as a form of escapism. It, oh, I'm also getting it's like where those who've tried to get sober have just worked more because they're not as tired and they're more capable, but they just made it like another addiction. They just made it another form of escapism. Um, very obsessed with you. Very obsessed with you for some of these people. All right. So we have Ten of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy, High Priestess in reverse, Piscean energy, also Gemini for me as a reader. And then we have Page of Wands here. Oh boy. Yeah. They're recovering from secrets being revealed about family. <laughs> Straight up. News that they received about family, stuff that was hidden, stuff that they can't ignore. Um, also for some, it is about work. News about work. Secrets that were being kept from them at work. Oh, this person could have been let go. Oh, Leo, this person could have found out some shit going on at work and they could have tried to be like a whistleblower about it and they got fired for it or they found out something at work about them going to be fired. Either way, it's like they received news that were secrets, secret related around Ten of Pentacles energy, fragmented Ten of Pentacles energy, which is loss of money, loss of job or loss of family or broken family's energy, okay? 
Wow, and they're healing from this. They're recovering from this. Let's see what else we've got. Oh. oh. Okay. This has got to be for like a handful of you. Someone's finding out their dad isn't really their dad. I feel like it's this emperor is finding out that their dad is not really their dad. That sucks. All right. Tell me about four swords. Tell me about four swords for Leo. Tell me about four swords for Leo. Regarding this spread. Tell me about the four swords for Leo. Regarding this spread. All right, now we've got wow. Knight of Swords in reverse. Gemini energy could also be air or fire with the Knight of Cups. Piscean energy could also be water or fire. I feel like an apology here. An apology for drama. An apology for lashing out. I, yeah, I feel major argument behind that Knight of Swords, but it feels past. It feels past. I feel like someone's wanting to extend an apology to you, Leo. Possibly to you. Leo, a lot of this shit could have been going on in the background without you realizing it or knowing it. And I feel like this person might have taken their anger out on you or their frustration out on you because they felt like they couldn't tell you. Again, that, that secrets, right? The secrets they can't talk about. The secrets they couldn't face themselves. Yeah, it's like, and it just was an explosion. But it, you know, like I said, I feel like this is all in the background and you had no idea about it. But they want to talk about it with you. They want to apologize for lashing out. Overall energy for the Four of Swords. Yeah, that Ten of Wands again, that burden. That burden that they were carrying, that being bogged down by this, by holding family secrets or or having the truth revealed about a family secret or having secrets themselves that they couldn't face, things that they had done, things that been they had been a part of, things that they just couldn't talk about or face, okay? And like I said, some could be going to rehab for this or therapy for this to be dealing with that. Yeah, underneath that, look, Eight of Swords. Very trapped in the mind space. This is a hell of a lot of stress for one person to handle. Okay, this is a lot. It's like, it affects, it affects this person physically and mentally. Like, that's like, that's major. That's a major amount of stress, okay? Now, ending on the Ace of Swords. I'm going to use um, Steampunk for this one. Yeah, let's look at this Ace of Swords. Oh, tell me about this Ace of Swords from my Leos regarding this spread. We're definitely pulling advice on this one, guys. We're definitely pulling advice on this one. Tell me about Ace of Swords. For my Leos regarding this spread. Tell me about Ace of Swords for my Leos regarding this spread. Mm. Tell me about Ace of Swords for my Leos regarding this spread. Tell me about the Ace of Swords for my Leos regarding this spread. Yeah, just to paraphrase this like masculine on masculine secret burden stress. Um, like I said, for some, it's just something that was going on in the workplace, a masculine on masculine energy relationship um, where there was a lot of secrets being held back. Um, someone could have been sabotaging, sabotaging someone at work. Someone found out they were going to get fired. Someone found out some secrets, blew the whistle. They got fired as a result of that. Um, you know, unethical shit happens all the time, right? Others, this is about family. As others, this is about family where they're learning secrets about like a father figure or a parent or someone's learning secrets about their child. Cause remember, because it could be ener it's energy, so it could be vice versa here. Um, but it definitely feels like 30s and older. We're not talking little children here. OK, we're talking adults. We're talking all adults here. Um, someone could, someone's also finding out their father's not really their father. Keep in mind, this is all masculine energy. So it could also relate to females. But I feel like it's more men on men personally. Tell me about Ace of Swords. Tell me about Ace of Swords. Like some knew this and couldn't tell you, Leo, and so they lashed out because of the anger. Others, it's like they were in the process of finding this out or it's like they already found this out or didn't find this out till after the fact. But there was a lashing out definitely towards you that they want to apologize for regarding all this craziness that they've been working through. And like I said, Leos, for some of you, your emperors are working through addictions and, and escapism and some threw themselves into work because they were sobering up and they just create another addiction. Either way, I do see some healing going on here with that Four Swords Hierophant energy, whether it's through rehab, therapy, uh, counseling, or going to see an actual medical doctor. First card out is the Two of Pentacles for this Ace of Swords, Capricorn energy. Tell me more about this Ace of Swords. Wow, Justice in Reverse, Libra energy. 
Wow. <laughs> With the truth, someone's trying to figure out how to get justice, how to achieve justice here with knowing the truth. Tell me more about the Ace of Swords for my Leos. All the while they're thinking about you, Leo. All the while they're thinking about how much they love you. Tell me about Ace of Swords. Also, Leo, some of you might have been dating someone and not realize they were detoxing. And so because they weren't dealing well, some, some kerfuffle happened with you two. And now they're going to tell you the truth about that. Tell me about Ace of Swords. Tell me about Ace of Swords. Overall energy, two of wands. Look at this. Hey. Okay. So this is all clarifying the Ace of Swords. This is the overall energy, two of wands, which is Aries energy. This is the clarifying energies, two of pentacles and justice in reverse. Someone's trying to figure out how to achieve justice in this situation, how to achieve balance in this situation, how to make things right. But overall, they can't figure it out. They don't know which way to go just yet. So they have the truth. They know what they need to do. They don't know how to achieve it. Very similar energy to the first spread that we had, okay? All right. Let's pull some advice. Let's pull some advice. I'm going to use spirit animal for this one. I'm not going to touch romance angels for this one. <clears throat> Any advice from my Leos regarding this spread? Any advice from my Leos regarding this spread? Any advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Any advice for my Leos? Oh, okay, okay, okay. It was like, <laughs> this card was fighting me to get out. Dog spirit, be loyal to what you love. 19 is a cyclical energy. So it's interesting because I, I do feel that positive energy from this, but I'm also feeling a little play on the words here where these emperors are kind of suffering from addictions, okay? <laughs> to be loyal to what you love. Some have been way too loyal to the things that make them feel a little too damn good, right? And that cycle, right? 19, that cycle's ending of being too loyal to things that just make you feel really, really freaking good. Um, but also being loyal to, to true love, to people who truly love you, to people who truly have your best interest at heart. This emperor is um, realizing this because they've also realized through these, especially those who have learned these family secrets, even the people in the, the work scenario where they got a little backstabbed at work, that just because you have a lot of passion for something and just because you're loyal to a situation or you're loyal to people doesn't mean they're going to be loyal back. Doesn't mean they're going to be loyal back. But Leo's, this emperor is realizing that you are very loyal, which you are. You are Leo. You're Leos. You can't help it. You are really loyal. And it's one of the reasons that they really have a lot of love for you. And they maybe they didn't see that initially that you had their loyalty at heart. You know, it's almost a case of like, um, like, how do I say this? How do I say this? Uh, like, you know, your best qualities of yourself, right? We all do. We all know we got our flaws. We all know we got our pros too. And when you meet people, you want to believe the best in them. But if you see it right off the bat, it's kind of hard to believe, right? It's kind of hard to believe. Or if you're used to people's negative shit, right? You're used to a certain negative pattern when it comes to people. If you come across someone who doesn't have that pattern, you don't really know how to react to it because you're just not used to it or you just can't trust it because you're just very unfamiliar. But at the end of the day, that's kind of what you've been looking for anyway. You just haven't had it in your life. It's that kind of energy that this emperor is going through in regards to you. Any other advice? For my Leos. Any other advice for my Leos? Oh, ho, 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 very nice. Oh, Leo. I actually feel like this is the Queen of Wands energy here with Reclaim Your Power, the energy of 44. Ooh, ooh, Leo, I like it. I really like it. It feels just really strong. It feels really, 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 really strong. Um, Leos, I think you set boundaries with this person after this lashing out. I think you I think you definitely set your boundaries with this person, and this person sees that. This person sees that and they like that. Because they also recognize you're very loyal to yourself. Like you will be loyal to someone you love, but you're gonna do you first. And that is powerful. That is quite powerful. Um, and this emperor is almost trying to do that. Like they're trying to emulate that energy in this craziness. That they've been going through and i don't think that's a bad idea i definitely don't think that's a bad idea um but wow it's 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 a very powerful card for you guys right now very very powerful card for you guys right now any other advice for my leos regarding this spread 
Any other advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Oh, very nice. Any other advice for my Leos? You guys have really strong, oh my God. You guys have really, really strong numbers. You have a cyclical energy with that 19 and then you have that master number 44 and now, oh yeah, look at the contrast in these colors in these two. Horse spirit, freedom is yours, the energy of 33. You know, it's interesting, Leos, we're all growing all the time, right? We're all growing, we're all working on ourselves. Well, most of us are. <laughs> most people who watch are, right? Leos, I feel like this is your energy, that 44, and they're more of a 33 you're kind of teaching this person a little bit. It's like you're kind of acting as a guide, even if you're not trying to. You're, they're, you're, they're just, they're almost like following your lead. Follow, like, well, okay, what would Leo do? What would, how would Leo handle this? Because Leo clearly seems to understand how shit works. You know, it's that kind of energy, which is why they are very attracted to you, which is why they have a lot of love for you. They're entering a 33 energy of freedom is theirs, breaking away from these patterns, breaking away from addictions, escapism, um, family crap, <laughs> uh, really, really awful or hostile work environment, something that's just not healthy, breaking away from all this unhealthy shit, because you did that. You've learned that lesson, Leo, because you're already in this lesson of reclaiming your power, having, having those boundaries with people, because you know how to love yourself, right? You've mastered that lesson already. So they're kind of emulating you. They're trying to catch up to you. They're growing. They're growing. It's a painful growth process, though. I got to say, this is really some painful, burdensome stuff. But they are gro growing through this process because they're almost catching up to your vibration. It's really nice. I really, really like it. And just look at that white on the black. I like, oh, my God. It just it's really kind of stunning to look at. Uh, but you could definitely see this as a little bit of a yin yang kind of energy here. But I, I, f I really feel like it's more about them trying to catch up to you energetically and learning from you and emulating you because they, they know that you get it. They know that you understand how shit works and they know that you have love for yourself and they know that they can learn a lot more from you. Overall energy, we have oh, manifestation, spider spirit, make your dreams real, 57, 56, not 57. That's so weird. Why did I say 57? Maybe that number means something to you guys. But 57, what would that break down to? A three? That would break down, oh, a three. Can get a second three right there um anyway this is 11 <laughs> this is 56 breaking down to an 11 i really feel like this is for the emperor in trying to um better themselves uh get it to get to a more balanced place get away from all this drama and this craziness and these secrets ah i feel like the emperor really just wants peace to be honest i almost feel like the emperor just wants a quiet life at this point like can i just live a life with no secrets can i just live a life where crazy shit ain't happening to me all the time i feel like that's what this um, this emperor has been wanting and they just have to manifest it oh yeah see look at the bottom know your worth know your worth being loyal to yourself having your own power leo they are learning from you they're learning to have that self-love to learn to manifest what they want in this life and what they want in this life or at least right now is just peace and love with you they want away from this family craziness they want away from this work craziness they want peace they want to feel powerful they want to feel secure they don't want to feel dependent on escapism or anything like that. They don't want to have to feel like they have to make something an obsession to get by. Like, they just want some goddamn peace. But they're realizing they got to do a lot of work to get there, which is why they're in this... Uh, where do those cards go? Where did, what the hell? Oh, which is why they're in this rehab, recovery, healing energy, okay? Oh, Leos, I hope you guys enjoyed those readings. And again, have a great, happy, have a great, happy birthday. Have a great birthday and happy birthday. I will see you guys later. Have a great night, okay? Namaste.